This problem asks us to um, identify the seventh and thirteenth electrons of aluminum. And we wrote out the orbital diagram already. Um, using only the quantum numbers. Okay, so the seventh and the thirteenth electrons. Well, let's, let's write them over. So the seventh electron. So remember, N, L, M sub L, and M sub S. And the thirteenth. So what does it mean when they're talking about the seventh electron and the thirteenth electron? They're talking about using your filling rules, okay? So like off-bow principle, then Pauli exclusion principle, and Hund's rule, okay? So let's count which ones these ones are, and we'll circle them with our red and blue pens here. Okay, so help me out. One, right? Two, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. So that one's seven there. So the blue one is seven. And then the thirteenth one is going to be the last one in. So seven, if you want to count them with me, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And remember, we are in this class going to designate the first one going in as the positive and the second one going in as the negative one. Okay. So anyways, um, and so the principal energy level for the seventh electron is what? Two. Two. Very good. Um, what about for the thirteenth electron? Everybody? Do you guys all agree that it's three? Yeah, I do too. What about L? So for this one, what would it be? What would our option be? Uh, for for one, yeah, so one or zero, right? And this one is a p orbital, so it's one, right? And this one, what would our options be here? Two, one, zero. Two, one, one zero. zero. But since it's a p orbital, one. right, one. So I saw that, and so I wanted to give us kind of an expanded view of that. OK, so here, what would our options be? Negative one, Negative one zero. zero, and one, positive one, right? So let's label those. So this, here, we'll label them in blue. So negative, z negative 1, 0, positive 1. So what would M sub L be here? Positive 1, positive 1. Okay. And then here, what are our options again? Negative 1, 0, and positive 1. But in this case, what is it? Negative 1. Negative 1. Very good. And M sub S for both of these plus, one, plus half. one half because again we we're designating the first one in as the plus one. Okay, you guys think you could do this on your own? So again, these four numbers will uh, include or uh, explicitly describe any particular electron on the in the orbitals that you could find. Okay.